Hey guys, welcome back to Tour Reviews 51 for another Wrestling or Head Statue review. Uh, this is review number 83. This is another four, first four figures. Uh, the Vengeance Series, Series 2 again of Edge. Uh, many know he retired already. He did TV shows. He comes back and does little funny skits and shit. Um, has his show on the WWE Network I learned recently. Um, there's the front of the box on the side. A little famous pose that he has there. Um... Hope, well, he actually is wearing the sunglasses there. A little bit of literature about Edge. If you're watching this statue, you probably know about him. Real famous for the TLC, multiple time heavyweight champion. So first four figures really puts out some cool stuff. These come out at a really, really fair price. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And let's take a look at this one just like we did the prior video on the John Cena. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. Um, so let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at this first four figures statue of Edge. Okay, so we're going to try to make this video short. Um, the statues are pretty simple. Any of the wrestling collectors out there, um, you can find these on the secondary market at a very reasonable price. Um, so here we have it. This is the Edge first four figure statue. Uh, about eight and a half inches in height. Same as the John Cena. This one is a little bit lower, about eight, eight inches. Um, as you can see there, um, the portrayal isn't spot on. I mean, they're not the greatest statues, let's just be totally honest. Um, the outfits are cool and everything like that, but the face portrayals, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. I mean, they tried and they made a statue. I mean, let's just keep it real. Um, the John Cena one was eh. You know what I mean? But uh, the Edge one, I mean, it's it's not that cool. I mean, it's it's a nice addition to a collection. If you're a wrestling fan, as you can see there, the WWE on the base, the trademark logo. Uh, one thing I've never done is see if there's anything on the bottom. Nope, there isn't. Um, so I'm going to move this off the box so we can take a better look here. And uh, there's the front, as you can see, with the sunglasses. Not the greatest portrayal, but still a decent statue. Um, as we move around the side right here... Um, actually from the back it looks more like this in the front uh, but you'll see the first four figures in a collaboration with uh, Puzzle Productions have never heard of uh, Puzzle Productions but I know first four does some pretty fucking badass figures I mean I gotta take into consideration these were made years and years ago five six seven years ago probably um, so for back then those were probably decent statues but with the stuff we see now from Hot Toys Sideshow 3-0 Prime 1 I mean, Prime 1's knock out of the park shit. Um, so here we have it. Long story short, this is the Edge first four figures. Um, do I recommend it for the price? Yeah. I mean, if you're a wrestling collector, why not? Um, you're only going to spend 20 if you're lucky, upwards of 30, 40 bucks. Um, and you get a pretty decent statue. If you're a startup collection, you know what I mean? Your primary focus is wrestling. Uh, about, buying, about equal to buying two or three of the Target figures, which, you know, people pick, take those out of the box and play with them. Uh, mostly kids. Um, or, you know, some of them, in my case, I have some that, a bunch that are autographed. Um, but here we have it. This is the Edge. First four figures. The Vengeance Series. Series 2. Adam Copeland. Edge. So there we have it. Let's keep it short and simple for review. Uh, number 83, of course, this is the Edge. First four figures, as we stated before, in collaboration with Puzzle Productions. Statue from WWE. So you guys know my feelings on it. So we'll go ahead and close out this wrestling. There's a possibility we may do one more wrestling after this, and I won't be doing any for a very long time. Um, so there we have it. Until next time, appreciate you guys watching. And I look forward to doing the next video, which I'm really excited about. So until then, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.